In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Dual Glitch from Luca Visual Effects. Dual Glitch allows you to add customizable digital and analog glitches to your footage. Dual Glitch was created exclusively for Final Cut Pro 10. You can find it in the Effects browser under Luca Visual Effects Dual Glitch. The effects are broken up into sections, defaults, simplified parameters, and presets. Let's take a look at the presets. Dual Glitch offers you two different ways to work. The effects in the preset section contain about 70 different parameters, with a primary and a secondary glitch, and an in-depth workspace for complete customization. The effects in the simplified parameters have exactly that, a basic set of 5 to 12 parameters, so you can drop them on your footage and get the effect you need quickly. It's the best of both worlds. I'll start with the default build from scratch effect so we can see how the parameters work. First up is image damage, a distortion of the entire image. You can check the hide edge damage box to zoom in slightly and hide the edge distortion. We can add a darker flicker or a brighter flicker. Gaussian blur adds a nice blur distortion. Motion Blur adds a directional blur with a customizable angle parameter. Prism Blur adds a colorful blur distortion, also with a customizable angle. Random Saturation can go either in the positive and boost saturation with the distortions, or in the negative and drop to grayscale. Wave Distortion adds a sort of wavy line distortion with control of the wavelength. The X and Y quake parameters give you a shake effect in those axes. And the X, Y, and Z jump parameters make the picture jump in those axes. Scan lines are nice to add a tube or CCTV effect to the footage, and you're able to control the number of lines as well as their opacity and blur. Now we get to the first glitch section. I'll increase the amount but before anything happens, we need to adjust the width, height, and frequency parameters. Here you can easily go from slight small glitches to heavy distortions. The core dropdown controls the shape of the glitch. You can start with the single core one or add in different cores for more complex glitches. The media shift parameters move the media inside the glitch cores in X and Y space. Below this, we have a bunch more parameters to control the specific look of the glitch itself. Many of these are very subtle, but some good visual examples for this tutorial include blur, edge wave, and you can adjust additional parameters like amplitude, wavelength, and relief. Prism, three different block style options, color variation, pixelization, static, and exposure. And then you can add a second glitch and customize all of those parameters as well for a really complex look. The glitch type dropdown gives you thumbnails of all the different types of analog and digital glitches available to you. As you can see, if you're the type of designer that likes to go deep into parameters for the perfect look, you have a lot of power here. But if you're in a rush, drop a simplified parameters preset on your clip and enjoy a great distortion fast. For further customization, the default with custom image preset allows you to insert custom media within the glitch, which is useful to create overlapping and delayed glitches from the same source footage. Often glitches are best done with short, occasional clips, so a good technique is to make cuts or duplicate short clips to make quick glitches. You can even use this technique to transition from one clip to another, 
best done with a heavy distortion preset. Dual Glitch from Luca Visual Effects is an amazingly powerful set of distortion effects for your creative toolbox. It also comes with 20 royalty-free glitch sound effects as well. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.